Welcome back guys this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video we are going to go over what a lambda function is. Just an FYI you might see someone say this as anonymous function it means the same lambda function is also called anonymous functions and you will see why. So suppose someone tells you hey Vishu like write me a function which will give me a square of the number that I pass in. So I will do define square num which will take a parameter number and it is going to return number double asterisk 2. What this means is it will square the number and return this. To run this I will do print square number and let's do 4. This should give me 16 and it does give me 16 over here. Now we have this sorted out but for doing one operation I had to define a whole function. I also had to write two lines of code to do this and this is where lambda comes in handy. If I want to do this using lambda I will say lambda this is the keyword you pass in a parameter that you are going to put which is our number you put a colon because it's like a function and you say number what are we going to do with this we are going to square it so double asterisk 2 now let's run this and let's see what it says so we don't have any output and I see a yellow squiggly line if I hover it says that statement seems to have no effect which means that we have a statement but it is not doing something and why is it not doing something lambda is like defining a function we are passing the parameters and we are returning a value. Remember this function is returning a value. But where are we storing this value? Nowhere. We don't have a variable to store this. So by default we will use a variable called answer which will store the value of whatever the function returns. Now let's do a print of answer and see what we get. So if I do print answer run and it is giving me a lambda function address. So it is actually telling me where the function resides inside the memory. It is not returning the value. And the reason it is not doing this is because we are passing a parameter of number but we are not giving anything to answer. The answer variable that we are printing over here is empty. And that is where we have to pass a value. So if I do answer of 4 you will see num come up. This is being passed to the function and whatever is being returned is going to be printed over here. So if I do print answer of 4 it is going to return 16. If I do y is equal to this, let's print y and it's going to have the same value. What we basically did is put the va value of 4 as an argument to this lambda function. This lambda function returned number into into 2 which is number power 2 which it stored in y and then we printed y. So what if I do number 1 and number 2 and let's do number 1 plus number 2. In this case we can't run this program like this. It needs one more argument because you can see there are two arguments and we are passing one. So let's do 4 and 6 and this is going to give me 10. What if I introduce one more? So number 1 plus number 2 plus number 3. This also needs to have a new number and this is 20. So 16 plus 4 is 20. So you can pass as many parameters as you want. Just remember this is a single line of code. Your computation should finish in a single line. That is the key. Do not forget this. You cannot write a whole loop over here. 
This is only for single line of code and that is what I want you to remember. When you write a lambda function, the return value should be computed in a single line. So that is it for this video guys and I will see you guys in the next one.